They'd lost their previous 10 meetings in Paris and five minutes into the game it looked like history would repeat itself as Olivier Merle powered his way around the bind side. But Wales no longer just roll over and Arwell Thomas provided ample proof of their fighting spirit. And the Welsh backs have been forged into an effective, if inconsistent, unit. And after Robert Howley had drawn the tackles, Gareth Thomas burst through to ground his seventh international try. Superbly converted by Neil Jenkins, Wales were back in the game. The French handling was uncharacteristically scrappy, but they regained the lead with a flowing move out wide. Though Laflamand will be the first to admit he got the look of the bounce. And as Wales had done to Scotland, France did to Wales with two tries in as many minutes. Wales though came back well at the start of the second half, spraying the ball out wide for Alan Bateman. And while the French kickers were having trouble converting, the trusty Neil Jenkins hauled Wales to within three points of the lead. But Jenkins the hero was Jenkins the unlucky when O'Can's kick bounced badly for the Welshman, eventually falling to Laflamont for his second. Hills were again stung into action, this time it was Quinnell who provided the weight and Howley the speed as the men in red provided the perfect reply. But they couldn't find that elusive final score and it's France who remain on course for the Five Nations Grand Slam. Kerry Dyson, Sky News. So England lead the Five Nations on points difference from France and of course as you heard there the two meet at Twickenham in two weeks time. Uh, Wales back in third, Ireland fourth and Scotland bottom um, without a win from two games so far.